so we have now looked through the whole body we have checked express monitoring and we have checked our six systems the next step the third step in our diagnosis is analyzing every organ we pay a special attention to the organs that either had complaints from the patient the target organs that we could identify from express monitoring if they are present they would be in group 3 but only if there would be a coefficient of below 0 0.5 so a current patient has no target organs and also we try to pay attention to the weak systems that is why we have selected several organs from each system to see if the organ has any problems and if it shows us a bigger situation in case you find out that you want to test a certain organ but you haven't done it so to say in the first approach you can always go to the live stream button to test the patient again in this case the organs that we tested are showed by a heart the organs we did not test today have, are shown by a heart and a question mark so in case you want to test something you clear all and you only let's say select the organ that you want to test in our case we would also like to have a view on the duodenum wall tissue so as the patient is present we could run this test As we may already mentioned, so the organs can be tested from different sides and also on the level of the tissue. And the markers here indicate the level of intoxication. We come back to the list. So here it is, the duodenum wall tissue is also automatically recorded after the, we did the test on the patient. For now we will not analyze all the organs just to economize your time but we will show you the principle that is used. Let's start with the gastric back wall. We see that this uh, area has quite a lot of stress. But again this stress does not always indicate disease. It might be some kind of temporary stress. Be it physical, emotional or mental. We go to the data analysis button. First, we check the first group to see where the main problem is coming from. The gastric back wall uh, belongs to the sixth filter, to digestive system, and also to uh, filter 5 uh, with the large intestine. So filter 5 is actually here, so ex uh, expression organs. That means that all the organs on top are contributing to the problem. The main uh, system that plays a negative role is the nervous system. There is some decompensation going on. So we see by opening the description that most probably we are dealing with some degeneration problems in tissues of cerebrospinal axis. It might be mighty ocular sclerosis or cysts. The second system that plays the most negative role is the urine genital system. Again, we can open the description and see what it might indicate. So, adnexitis, prostatitis, nephritis, pyelonephritis, or again cysts. The third system that plays a negative role is the digestive system itself. The second thing we do here is also we go deeply into 5 and 6 to see if the gastric back wall has any active diseases that we can see. In this case, even if the uh, coefficient itself is quite high, we can also test it under stress. So what happens if a patient will experience stress? To do it we press the waiting button. You see that the uh, coefficients has changed but not that much to also have a more detailed information we can use the quantum button in the lower right corner here we pay the most attention to the stage 
which would be indicated. In this case, we see that there is some pre-pathology. That means the problem is not really there yet, but it might develop. The second thing that we can see from the quantum view is the difference in coefficients. Here we see that the underlined coefficient is 0,593, which is lower than the coefficient of 0,654 that we have on the list. That means this problem is not yet active, but it is trying to be, as here on the quantum analysis the coefficient is lower. That means it is a pre-pathology that we can try to avoid. If you think this information is infor important for you to remember, then you can also record it directly from the quantum analysis by pressing the record button. As you can see, you can analyze not only the active problems, but the problems that only might become active in future. The idea behind this is that you can also try avoiding these problems ever becoming active. After we have checked 5 and 6, we go to 15 to see microbial biocenosis. Here we would again be interesting, interesting for us to know if there are any alive microorganisms and that we see by the coefficient. If any coefficient would be below 0 0.5, it would show us that there is some microorganism or toxins of that microorganism. But we would be especially interested in seeing a coefficient of 0 0.3 or below, which would, uh, which would indicate that there are alive microorganisms present. On the level of the organ, we can also check groups 16 and 17, which would show us indications of hidden bioactivity of microorganisms. If we would have a coefficient here of below 0 0.5, we would also check the filter that it belongs to and what would be the activity. The activity is classified as not active, compensated, progressive, high or very high we would be interested in progressive high or very high activity. In this case, that means that there is some or there would be some microorganism which we could not identify, but it is present. In a current patient, there is no hidden microflora that we can see as the coefficient is much higher than 0 0.5. Group 17 refers nearly to the same effect. As you know, even if we cannot identify the microorganism itself, we can see its activity as it changes its environment. When we go to the lower level of group 17, we find the group description. By pressing the D button, you will also see the details. Basically, if you would see highly acid reaction, that would indicate presence of viruses. Highly alkaline reaction, presence of fungi. Highly alkaline uh, reaction also might indicate bacteria and acid reaction protozoa. Neutral reaction would indicate helminths. Basically, even if we do not know what is the actual type or subtype of the microorganism, we could still take adequate measures. Coming back to our patient, he fortunately has no hidden bioactivity as the coefficient is much higher than 0.5 we would be interested in a coefficient of 0 0.5 and lower. These are the main things we can do on the level of the organ. There, as you see, a lot of additional groups, but for now we focus on the basis. Let's test another organ so that you can understand why we do it and what is the procedure. Now we come to the pancreas. First we see what are the main systems affecting the pancreas and we see that mostly it is the digestion system which inflammation is affecting the pancreas in a negative way. Next we check 5 and 6 to see what are the presumptive diagnosis and possible complications about this organ. All the coefficients are quite high but also as you remember we can check them on quantum analysis. First, we do the amplitude correction to see how will it became, uh, behave under stress and we see that under stress gastroenteritis would be the main problem. 
Let's shortly check it on quantum analysis to see if this problem is really there. As you see it is now on stage 1, so the process is not developing. But what is alarming is that it has a lower coefficient than in the list. So the problem is not there and it, has, it is our task for it never to become active or present in the patient at all. We go to group 15 to check microbial biocenosis to see if there are any active microorganisms in the pancreas. But we see none. We check group 16. There is nearly a match, but again we would need a coefficient of below 0 0.5. So it gives us no information. We check group 17, also higher than 0 0.5 is the coefficient, so no information for us here. These are the main things that we do on the level of the organ. So again, we check what is causing the main problems, if there are any diagnoses that we can expect that they are active or will become active in future. We check presence of microorganisms, and we check hidden presence of microorganisms. This procedure will continue for all the organs. Again, if you want to test some organ which is not on the list but which you think is holding some problem or is causing difficulties, we go to the live stream and we will select it and test it. From the level of the organs, we can also start actually recording information. That means when we do it on express monitoring, we only record the weak systems and the target organs. From the level of the systems, we actually record nothing. We just have an overview. What are we searching for? And already starting from the organ, we can record information which might be especially uh, necessary for us to know. We can access the uh, we can open the medical conclusion from the main window as well. To do it, we press the View Patient button. Here is the basic information about our patient that we have entered. We can see his complaints. We have identified weak systems. And we have written down one etalon process, which is not active at the moment, but is a pre-pathology and something we would try to avoid. You see that the uh, information here is recorded in different colors. That is uh, for your help, for your benefit, as the more uh, bright colors indicate that the uh, organ or system is under special stress and we should pay more attention to it. As we have found no clear diagnosis and only some future diagnosis in the gastric back wall, we propose now to check the liver to see if something is hiding there. We can always press on the image itself we can press the view survey results of the selected organ to see the stress markers. Sometimes they also indicate which area is especially under stress, so which area is most probably suffering from a disease or microorganism. Let us now go to the data analysis to see the details on the liver. Here is the name of the organ. We see that the liver is mostly negatively affected by urine genital adaptation. We check presumptive diagnosis and possible complications. As we see all the coefficients are high, we would also like to see them behave under stress. What would be the difference? And we see that under stress a gallbladder dyskinesia might become active. Let's see it on the quantum analysis. We see that actually it is an acute and present condition. It is not active in the normal stage of the patient, but as soon as he gets some stress, it will become active. We can also see that the coefficient is nearly the same as under stress, so it is more or less stable for now, but will become active under stress. Let's record it. We could also record this information from here, pressing in conclusion. But if we record it from the quantum analysis, just for you to see the difference.
it will also show us the stage of this gallbladder dyskinesia so that it is an acute condition this is the recording that we have made from the quantum analysis and this is the one we did simply from the list let us save changes and proceed to check for any microbial infections as we see that there are none present let us search for hidden bioactivity all the coefficients are higher than 0 0.5 so no information for us here